too. Okay, so this last video isn't really a whole lot of new information. It's just to demonstrate. Sometimes I hand the cards one at a time like you've seen in the other videos, um, but to really help make sure the child is taking ownership of and kind of like self-managing what we're doing. The goal is usually that I can give a pile of cards and they can sort through them. Of course, beforehand, you wanna make sure that you've already set it up so that the pile is, um, you know, mixed up and it's not like a bunch of um, numbers in a row and then all the letters. Um, but what ha sometimes happens if you give the child a pile, they'll go through, cause this is how like aversive or response effort, high response effort it is for a lot of our kids. They will set the pile down and like find them all of the letters or whatever and then just like put it in the pile. They don't keep the pile and like do one at a time. So we definitely um, make sure that if we hand them a pile of cards to sort, they're not, they have to go in the order that the pile is in and they don't get to just like pick out and do all the letters at one time and then all the numbers at one time because that doesn't help with the discrimination piece. That They're still putting it in this isolated response and they're not having to do that back and forth scan and you know pay attention to what it is that they're doing. So I'm gonna demonstrate that real quick. All right, Mallory, let's do some sorting. Look, this is the letters. This is the numbers. Sort. Number, letter, letter, number, number, letter. Good job. What are all of these? Numbers. Good. And what are all of these? Letters. Awesome. Way to go. Here comes the airplane. Ooh, can you get it? <gasps> can you get it? <gasps> oh, you got it. Nice job. So in this video you saw, um, we just did all correct responding, but you can see how you can hand a pile over and they can sort that as well. 